Racing from the Highland Speedway, 50 years of racing. Brought to you by Wheels Video and AllAmericanRacetalk.com. Added attraction, hence the 50-year anniversary of celebration for week number one. For week number one, we've got a lot of people here that have been to the racetrack in quite a few years. A lot of our retired drivers. We'd like to invite all of our retired drivers right now down to the front straightaway. So we can do a meet and greet, maybe interview just one or two of them, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to talk to some of our past drivers here at the Highland Speedway. So if anybody's here that's a past driver, Tell 
about some history about your racing here? Um, I started driving here in 65. Well, I was 65. I had a car for color and I am. Really good job. It was like a bunch of things. Uh, first 16 year old guy ever went to race here. Now, do you remember Highland Speedway when it was a flat track? I do. I don't remember doing anything else back then. I also seem to recall, didn't we used to have lines to the infield? Football fields, if I'm not mistaken. And the twist, oh, I can't remember who was. Later than me, I know we had the twist because they had to, to go over the football game to play football. Now, can you settle a bet for me? Somebody told me that they used to find drivers for driving through the infield when it was the football field. Do you remember that? No, I don't. I still can't get the right answer out of that one, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm going to keep digging. Donnie Evans, ladies and gentlemen. We've got another lady here, ladies and gentlemen, that would like to say a few words for Mr. Christopher Getsy. Here we go. Let's see how this works. for so many years here at Highland Speedway. How many people up there are Chris Forgetsy fans? Make some noise. <laughs> Somebody's got to make some noise. There's got to be somebody here that wants to talk. This guy, people ought to remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is the driver of the Flying Juice Kid himself. We have a little one. Hey, the Flying Juice. No. Do you know where any of them are? No, I think they're all gone. All the cars are gone, ladies and gentlemen, but the memory will be in our minds forever. Highland Speedway and Dennis Sellers, ladies and gentlemen, when was you the last track champion here? Ooh, 89 or 92, I forget. It was back in the late 80s, early 90s. I think Bill's got something to add. Uh, Dennis, so Dennis started driving. We had a rule you had to be at least 16 to drive. And somehow, I think this guy was about 14, that he came out here and started driving. How high was that? So, was there something wrong with your birth certificate? Is that what you're telling us? I was really 15 and a half. 15 and a half, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Dennis Sellers. I think we're going to get our uh, flagman here. This is Mr. Dan Dondero. Dan, another number two car, if I'm not mistaken. As fast as the other one. But it still went fast around the racetrack. It at least turned left, right? Put some argument out of that. Well, sometimes you turn left in other cars. Now we're here. Let's hear for Dan Dondero, ladies and gentlemen. Dan says that he got in this guy's way a time or two, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, my name is Bruce Blue. And I'm Michael. And I'm here. I started back when I was in high school in 76. And this is bad. A larger building a car, and we started right there. So we call Michael Cruz the Trent Tornado. Does that make you the whirlwind that began it all? No. no. What's the most memorable moment here at the Speedway? I've had a lot of memorable moments. I've crashed a lot here. I've made a dude rolling over and everything else. So this has been a good place for me. So you remember the creek, I believe, on the back straightaway, right? Oh, yeah. I went over those light poles back here one time. So how cold the water? Thank you. 
driving for this man, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Ron Robertson. Here's somebody we had a struggle to even get to come down here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear from this guy right here. Tell everybody who you are and what you know about Highland Speedway. Now I remember as a kid watching cars race around here, it seemed like speed wasn't everything, but a car that would make it to the finish was more of the prize, right? The money is the thing now, yeah, it takes a lot more money, ladies and gentlemen. Push you and let's make some noise for it. The history just keeps coming from Highland Speedway. Bob Diesel informs me three great grandchildren now. This man just keeps making history happen. I got somebody over here that doesn't want to be a part of the microphone. I believe this is Bill Laycock, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Bill. Yeah. I'm doing just fine. Why are you so shy around the microphone? All these people love you out here. No. Nobody loves you. Oh, let's feel sorry for Bill Laycock, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody say, oh. Yeah. 
of Racing, brought to you by Wheels Video and AllAmericanRacetalk.com.